held a statesman of Irish motorsport, John Maloney. Uh, unfortunately, it's a bog standard rally car, and I'm out here in Division 1 purely for the fun and really enjoying it. I was going to ask you if you're enjoying it. Oh, it's fabulous. The weather is good, the crack is good, the club is good, the track is excellent. It's really smashing and it's totally relaxing for me. There's no pressure. If I do well, it's a bonus. If I don't, they will say, well, Maloney's just driving a rally car today. This class structure, do you think it's good for the sport if we get more of them in? The, the Group N Division 1s, I don't think so. Um, they're not a spectacle, there's no noise. Um, if, if, you could t if you could bring back a little bit of noise, like the Division 2 cars are super, they have noise limits, but they make noise and the, the wish of the turbos as they go, go along. But the 1400s and the Group Ns, they could badly do with a bit of, bit of a jizz up, possibly a bit of noise. A bit of a jizz up on this grid anyway with uh, Maloney, Miller, Kootenay and Kittleson. Arthur to be sure. Right, let's see if John can jizz them up as they go away. Miller makes a very, very slow start. Who's going to go into the lead? Is it going to be Kittleson? No, it is not. It is Pablo Kootenay from the Czech Republic who takes the lead. There indeed is Kittleson trying to get alongside him, but John Maloney coming away in third place. Is John Maloney going to improve upon that? No, he cannot. It is indeed... Kootenay who leads it from uh, Kittleson. John Maloney in third place. Those three escorts. Oh, and uh, we've got problems there. And uh, the Czech Republican driver has spun out. And he rejoins in last place as Ivor Miller with the VW Golf GTI says thank you very much and goes through into third place. Which leaves Gunnar Kittleson well clear up front. And he comes through to take victory with uh, John Maloney there in second. Well, he's well clear up front, but that's fourth fastest time for Gunnar Kittleson. That means he's had a fourth and a fifth fastest, and I don't think that's good enough to get him into the A final, where we have uh, Opland sitting on pole, I think. Regardless of what happens in this next heat, with Holfield, Ericsson, Norgard, and Toomey on the grid, Arthur. Yes, see what Kevin Toomey nearest the camera can do. Kevin Toomey going away, and one, two, one, not getting away at all there. Jan Billy Norgard left on the start line. Now then, with the start line uh, being actually on the race circuit here at Mondello, surely they will have to clear that car before they can come through on the next lap. There indeed is 120 Lassie Ericsson leading this race in what should be the last appearance for this car in European Rallycross. Lassie Ericsson leading it anyway as he goes away. Lassie Ericsson with the advantage up front. Lassie is indeed building an escort Cosworth and that should appear when we come back in Belgium in August. But meantime, he leads this race quite comfortably. There behind him once again, Helmut Holdfield going very well. Helmut Holdfield using local knowledge very well indeed here this afternoon as uh, Kevin Toomey holds that third place. The uh, Cork man, now living in County Meath, going a bit agricultural there, and why shouldn't he? Because he sells agricultural tractors for a living. Meantime, our camera gets a close view of the action here, and I quite know what's happened, but uh, meantime, it's Lassie Erickson being challenged there by Holdfield. Holdfield trying to go round the outside, can't do it, pays the price, goes too wide, gets out on the loose. Well, he was on the loose, but he gets on the very, very loose, and fights back very quickly once again, and Lassie Erickson is still with the advantage. Lassie there with the sweet bus entry, still leading local man Helmut Holdfeld as they come up towards the chequered flag. It's going to be a victory here, I think, for Lassie Eriksson it is. Lassie Eriksson comes up, takes the chequered flag and another good run from Helmut Holdfeld. And Helmut uh, showing us just why he is the reigning Mondello Park champion.